we want to do is we want to work from the outside we want to work from the inside so we'll get this cut these two cuts first then we'll work our way in to here because if we do this one first sometimes it's a little difficult to figure out where we're at you all might be smarter than me on that I don't know but anyway that's the way I do it and we need to do everything from one direction so we'll make sure we'll come from this direction the first thing I'm going to get is this fillet in there for the glass the glass rail that way I'll know exactly where I'm at and which way I'm going okay the glass rail is a half inch by looks like right at a quarter so we'll do half by quarter which means we come in from the back side we'll come down inch and an eighth we're over inch and an eighth and then we're up half an inch Okay, now what we do is we take our sample piece. Now we set up and come in and cut back that fillet. We do the sample piece first so we know we're we know we're on the right track. Cutting our tongues. This is where we're going to use our sample pieces so in case we mess it up we don't mess up our good pieces. All right, like I said the first one we're going to get see this is the outside part it's 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 90 degrees with the bottom so we're going to come over and get the farthest one so we're going to work on this one first and then work our way in. We got our first one set up. Now we just need the length, the distance in that we come on each end. That end 
in this end and then we'll also always leave all your pieces the same way so when you pick them up you don't have to think about turning them around There, now all the pieces are set in the right direction for cutting. But this in here shows to be two inches. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do two inches on both sides. And then when we cut it back, then we'll cut it back to the length that we need. Okay, now we got them all marked two inches. Oops. Well, we don't necessarily need to do the the uh, test pieces because all we're doing is just getting the distance from the edge to our first cut, or I should say, from this edge to our first cut. That's all we want with them. Now, what I've done. We're flush on this edge. This is the sides we're coming from. And we're looking down that and we're just right on the money. So that's where we need to be. And we're facing the right way. We got angle and angle. Both ends are angled. So we got this going the right way. Put it back like we just had it. And now let's, let's cut our first two good pieces. One thing I forgot to tell you is that when we when we do this in, this is why these marks are not that critical, is we have to flip it to get the other side in order to come from without having to readjust our saw. That's the reason this one overruns that much to get our two inch cut on the bottom side. Of course all that'll be filled in. Now we're going to get our, our second cut, which is here, that one on the inside. same thing get your test piece line up your tube that you're against the guide look down in there we're pretty much right on the money so we'll go ahead and do our our real pieces now Our good pieces and put it through the saw the wrong way but luckily I caught it in time where we didn't mess it up that's why I say we need to make sure these things stay like that so we don't so we don't get them confused like I just did okay now we're gonna move on to our third cut is we're getting this cut on the outside so that we will have our tongue. So we need that cut right there.
13. Now you notice what I just did. I just did it wrong. Angles on the left side and I got the angle on the right side on this one. Okay, now we're laying right. Okay. Now we'll do 1 and 13. Okay, now our last one, our last cut will be the check rail itself. We need to uh, cut back this much for the parting stop. So we'll cut this end off, whatever we need. <laughs> 